All right, Chomper, you stay right there in the van for just a second where I go ahead and open up the journal. And let's see. Yeah, sure enough, we don't have Slayer's picture in here, which means that we haven't fully understood her story yet. Oh, she is such a secretive sled dog. It's really hard to figure out what could possibly be in her heart. I wonder what happened to her that made her so scared of elk so early on. But all right, we're gonna have to do our best to find her story after all. We were probably so close last time. I probably should have tried to get closer to the elk rather than going ahead and shooting it for dinner. That'll show me. But all right, guys, hello and welcome back to Red Lantern, where we are getting ready to head out with our sled dog team once again, because we still have more stories to discover. The fact that we still haven't found Sly like Slayer's story out in the wilderness really makes me excited because there's still a lot more for us to see. We've not even filled out much of this about the rabbits this time. We've only seen the owl a couple times. We still haven't filled out any of the journal for the owl. The ox, still don't have anything for that. This time we don't have Gel with us, so we don't have a lot down for the porcupine or the beaver, even though that beaver does try to kill us now and then. We really have to watch out for when it's knocking over some of those trees. But, oh, you guys, this is so exciting. There's still more to discover out there. And you guys were right. We actually haven't learned Gail's story. Here, Slayer, or excuse me, Chomper, you stay there for just a second. I'm gonna go ahead and crawl under the bed and pull out another one of our journals, since each one of the journals actually is with a different dog team. Kind of annoying, because it means that you're never going to be able to completely fill one journal, because you can't swap the dogs out. But that's okay. At least we can do our best. And this would be the journal that we have for one of our other dog teams. When we are actually mixing together, let's come over here. This is the team for mixing together Noodle, Gale, Stilton, and Slayer. And we have Noodle's picture here, and we have Stilton's picture here. And look at this! I don't know, buddy. I think that's a pretty good likeness. So we had a little bit of confusion, my friends, when we thought that we actually had already discovered Gail's story because so many of you were saying that it's impossible to get Chomper drawn into the journal. However, I don't know. Look at this. Look at this. That is clearly Chomper after all. So that's why I thought we had discovered Gail's story because so many people were saying you never get Chomper drawn into the little book, which is just a travesty if you ask me. I mean, look at how cute these little drawings are. And this is definitely, definitely Chomper. Now that I have a second look, I mean, just look at him. It's got his eyebrows. It's even got the triangle vest, the blue vest that he wears on the front. Chomps, this is totally you. And if you look closely at Gail's features, our very speedy Gail, you can actually see that she's got a completely white face. She doesn't have those eyebrows and she doesn't wear that blue coloring for her harness. So that means that we have even more stories to discover. We haven't discovered Chomper's story with our very first group where it's Chomper, Barkley, Bodega, Finn, and Iggy. And we haven't discovered his story with our third group where we're running Chomper, Bodega, Iggy. We're running with Noodle, who also needs to rediscover his wolf friend, and Slayer. So there's still a lot left to find out, not to mention who knows what happens when you mix and match even more of these dog teams in the future. So don't worry guys, seems like we're actually going to be going on a lot more runs. Pretty exciting, huh boy? But alright, you know what? I'm gonna set my sights right back on our beautiful Slayer girl. And then we'll definitely have to go running with Gale and see if we can figure out both their stories. And we'll have to see, maybe we can even learn Chomper's story this time around. All right, let me see. What are we going to be starting with this time? The axe, the fire starter. We're going to have two wood, which we don't really need. Five bullets, which we definitely need. Four food, two med packs. Okay, we've got this. You ready, boy? All right, guys. So now that we have realized we don't know all of their stories, it's time to go right, running. Uh, the cabin's supposed to be... We've got an axe to help us get some wood and a fire starter. We don't need to worry about collecting birch. We've already lived our nightmare scenario. We're ready for this. All right. Uh, mush on. Come on, pups. <laughs> Iggy, you look like half dead laying on your stomach like that. Glad that you're comfy in the snow, though. But all right, so this time I think we're actually going to try... Mm. Should I let the dogs lead or should I guide? We probably... I don't know what. Um, 
let's go ahead and we're going to go ha huh. i hope we can run into the elk up here but i want to see if we can also stumble on some more of the tools that would really help us like the booties for the dogs that is one of the most essential tools you can find Looks like we've got a chance at a meal pups oh hey not bad first thing stay quiet just be calm you've got this all right Hey, perfect shot. Which Ooh. is good, because I'm getting lightheaded. No one has to starve tonight. God, that's a terrible thought. Why did I want this to be my reality? Well, at least I feel properly alive. And I am getting kind of good at this. <laughs> I hope you guys have other ways you can feel properly that was alive. Worth it. All right. Another meal Here ready to go. go. <laughs> Look at all those wagging tails. Let's go, Chopper. You guys seem pretty happy to go on an early morning run, huh? Let's see if we can find those dog booties again. Maybe even the fishing rod. That would be really useful. But I promise we're definitely going to be searching for Slayer's Elk. And also Noodle's Wolf. And Chomper's Squirrels, apparently. I'm really proud of him. He's been leading a great team. Oh. Noodle, are you trying to bring it <gasps> closer or keep it away? How close do you think that wolf is? All right. It seems like this time... Oh, Noodle! Okay, okay. Um... Oh, this time his friend showed up so early. It's okay, it's okay. Alright, there. We got this. There you go. I'm glad you brought us out here, Noodle. Good boy, I hope that wolf makes it. I still like the idea that the place that we okay? live right now used to have a Let's lot of chopper. illegal trappers around. Maybe Margot was like a ranger of some kind who loved dog sled racing as well. Maybe she was out here trying to keep an eye on the population and hmm. make sure that everything was on the up and up. Let's go ahead. We'll go G. G. We'll stay in the forest this time. I was leaning towards the mountains, but I think we want to search more for the elk, and I usually find them more in the forest. Uh, noodle? Should I be scared? Wait, what's what is going that? On? Wait, what's happening? Oh, hello. Oh. <laughs> it's just some ptarmigans. Why am I going to be scared of ptarmigans? Should I let the dogs go for them this early? Um, I kind of want to talk to them this time since we already hunted a deer. So, um, any chance you're laying eggs? I guess I should do something. They're so freaking cute. I mean, they have the cutest little legs that are covered in feathers to help keep them warm in the snow. Uh, okay, look, I hate to do this, but my dogs don't have booties, so they need a lot of food right now. Okay, on my call, you're gonna try to get yourselves a meal. Hold, hold. Come on, team. Okay, go! Sheesh, y'all are great at catching these birds. Maybe we shouldn't try to have chickens at our new home. Huh, I don't need eggs. I think I like these ptarmigans. You all look very full. Oh, that was really worth it. Holy cow. Y'all ready? Except now I'm the one who's getting hungry. Let's go, Chopper. <laughs> Alright, well we need to stop for some food anyway. Let's look for a good spot to camp. Alright, so, so Let's far, rest. deer, term again. Everybody seems to be this having a good, good spot time. To rest. Hi, guys. Alright, you guys already had your snack, so it's going to be my turn to go ahead and have something to eat. But hey, Noodle! Good boy! I'm so glad we were able to find your wolf friend! Hi, Noodle. This is feeling more exciting to you? Yeah, okay, let's just get some scratches in. Right, I'm just here to pet you. Oh, he's such a good boy. But a lot of you guys were pointing out that if you really want to be able to discover the stories of the dogs, then you need to live by the rule, always pet the dog. Because if you don't pet them after their event happens, there's a good chance that you won't actually take note of it and draw the little drawing in your journal. Maybe that's what that was all about. Hey Chomps, what'd you think about the tarm again? Maybe a bit of a massage. Keep you loose for the trail. <laughs> good boy. Alright, and Iggy, how you doing? Everybody seems pretty good. I take this mitten off, but I fear frostbite. There you go, good girl. All right, and then new. Let's see, Slayer. She still looks a little nervous to me. Pets, pets, pets. 
we are going to be able to figure out how to make you feel calm around elk. And I think once you complete the dog's story, then you actually keep their bonus the next time that you go racing with them. Because Noodle, his wolf friend actually would follow us after we unlocked his story and had fully released the wolf. And we would end up having that wolf bring us food, even on runs where we hadn't freed it. So I think that's how you can make a little bit of progression within the runs. Really good to note. But Digga, you get pets too. Oh, hey! Pets, pets, pets. And we get the achievement for petting all the dogs. I can't believe I hadn't done that yet. Sorry, Bodega. All right, you guys just had some fluffy tarm again, so it's my turn to go ahead and have a fire snack. Fire would be nice. At least I'm well practiced in fire starting. There we go. I'm ready to cook some food. And then a little snack for me. Um. Yeah, with how hungry the pups are, you know what? Why don't we just go ahead and kind of fill up? That'll actually let us really start exploring. Good idea, pups. All right. Food time. Chow down, pups. All right, chomps. You don't need to give me those big puppy eyes. Let's see. Hmm. I'm going to leave a couple food so that we have a snack for later. All right. You guys ready? Everybody warm? Back on the Back trail. Back on the trail? I think we're done here. Let's go. All right, Iggy. You are so playful today. Let's go, guys. All right, I wonder what we're gonna discover next. We've already freed a wolf, had some ptarmigan, managed to find a deer. I'd say this has been really successful so far. Imagine if this was, oh, there's the owl. I'm certain I read that owls are good omens. Or uh, wait. Let's see. Sounds pretty good to me. What do you pups think? Noodle, what do you wanna do? Should I follow the owl or not? Yeah, follow it is. Let's go, Noodle. Okay. Hi, buddy. Oh, good omen. That's what we needed, team. What do we think it'll lead us to? So we've some birch. It's a good start. Not bad. Um, <laughs> you know, I've never ever said to the owl, maybe it wants to try to eat us. So let's try that out. If I shoot you, does that change the omen? Heck no, I am not gonna shoot the owl. Okay, note to self, don't try to I'm like back. shoot the owl. Let's get back out there. Who's going to see like a good or bad luck totem and then just like shoot it? That's absolutely not happening. Just because we have a gun absolutely does not mean we need to use it on everything. In fact, it means the opposite. Hmm. Let's go. All right, G. G. We have a very, very important like role in choosing when to use that tool. And I'm not gonna use it on an owl. Hmm. Oh, hey. Wait, is that a caribou? Nice. Okay, just breathe and pull the trigger. Okay. Huh! I hit it! And it's still fine. Great. No, no, it's not fine. Get this caribou. We will kill this caribou. I am not going to leave it here in pain. Come on, I hit you. Fuck! Ah, dang How it. are you surviving all these bullets? You know what? Fine. Oh, here we go. No, 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 that, that's mine! Is that Noodle's friend? We are being watched oh, over oh, by yeah, wolves. that's right! I did the work for this kill! Oh, that's so cool! That was a good diversion. We've got some more meat. Two bullets left, team. All right, Noodle. Let's be safe out there. Your friend is definitely watching out for us. You know, I think I might let the dogs guide us now that, you know, we've gotten so established with plenty of resources, at least for a little while. Lots of food, a couple bullets left to fend off anything terribly dangerous. Now let's see if we run into something really frightening, like a weasel or a bunny. Hey, that works. Rabbit's supposed to be a delicacy. What do you think, pups? Let's go ahead and I'm gonna check it out. Oh, it's hey, so cute. Bunny. Let's see. I'm going to let Chomper have you. You mind being bait? Bait for what? Like an eagle? I'm not going to shoot an eagle. Um, let's go ahead. Should I let Chomper go after it? What if I just want to look at the bunny? Uh, all right. I'm sure something big is tracking you. I mean, if it would be, it'd you be like a lynx or something. You are not very good bait. You didn't even move. What are you even eating? It's just snow. 
Wait, am I the bait? <laughs> All right, Chomper. On my call, you get to. All right, Good leave job, it, honey. Chomper. All right, let's go. <laughs> he didn't have any luck with that that attempt. Thanks for waiting, pups. To be honest, let's I go, was kind of rooting for the bunny. All right, let's go, boy. All right. Well, no food there, but we're plenty full up, so I'm not worried about that. Hmm. Let's go. And I'm gonna let one of the dogs decide where we go next. It really, following their instincts seems to help us so often, so it's really fun to let them be part of the team. <laughs> and let Noodle yeah, we're decide. Actually, doing pretty well. I mean, we're still alive, and we're getting closer to our new home, but we're making our way. All right, let's see how this will go. Where to next, pups? Did you guys see the wolf following us this time? The ice looks kind of suspicious if you ask me. I would really prefer if we weren't on it right now, but... Let's see. Oh, oh hey! A, uh, a little wolf friend. Oh, dang it, dang it, dang it! This okay, is not a friend! Stay over there. We don't mind. Not a friend! Mush, mush! Not again! Ah, let go! Ugh. I think that that wolf maybe thought we did something. It's just a scratch. A scratch from a giant wolf mouth. We can patch this up. We know how to do this. Ah, uh, okay. Oh, that was a mistake. Not ideal, but we're gonna be okay. Let's be safe out there. Guys, come on. Come on, Bodega. Bodega. There we go. Let's look for a good spot to camp. Let's oh. take a break. All right. So, a big scratch from a giant take wolf a break, mouth. Pups. Not exactly ideal, but you know what? I don't think it's actually Noodle's friend. Maybe it was a member of their pack who thought that we were hurting them. I mean, they probably were wounded and scared and calling out for help, and then a human walks up to them. Uh, that's my guess, at least. But all right. Fire would be nice. Let's go at ahead. I'm well practiced in fire starting. And I'm going to patch up this bite before it, you know, goes ahead and gets really oh, nasty. <sighs> there we go, guys. And all right. So, Noodle, what do you think about that? Let's get some pets in. Nothing to say about the wolf? Okay. I'm sure it wasn't your friend. But all right, guys. Slayer, Noodle, we have their stories to still discover. And Chomper, too. Which means there's definitely a reason to keep our eyes out for squirrels. Not to mention, just because we have run into some of these events doesn't mean that they're going to be different every time. Sometimes Chomper might check that, like, be able to catch that bunny. Sometimes we might fight off the wolf and have to claim that caribou, or it might get away from us. It all depends on whatever's out there. Whatever's waiting for us on these adventures. So if you guys could, do please leave a like and hope that this time we will finally properly manage to find Slayer's story. And if you would like to join us on this and literally thousands more adventures, do please consider subscribing. But most importantly, my friends, stay curious, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye bye